Let's look at placing raw photographs directly onto pages within your publication and developing them non-destructively in place. This functionality can be used if you have Affinity Photo installed and activated on the same machine as your Affinity Publisher installation. On this page, I've got four picture frames set up along the top here. I'm going to go out to my file browser and place the first raw file into the top left picture frame. Once the raw file is placed, it is automatically developed and displayed. I'll switch to the Move tool using V and reposition it within the picture frame. I can now go in and redevelop this raw file. First, I need to make sure I have the raw image layer selected and not the picture frame it's contained within. I can expand the picture frame and select the raw image layer. Now, because I have the Move tool selected, I can see a Develop Image button on the Context toolbar up here. I can either click this, or I can double click on the Raw Image thumbnail. This enters the Develop Persona that you may be familiar with in Affinity Photo. And here, I can adjust all the development settings for this image. So I might bring the brightness up, take the highlights down, and increase the saturation slightly. Once I'm finished changing the settings, I can click Develop up here to commit them. These changes are completely non-destructive. I can re-enter the Develop persona at any time, so I'll just double-click on the thumbnail again, and the sliders are set to the values I used previously. So I am free to change these at any time. I may, for example, increase the brightness further and increase the contrast as well. Then click Develop once again to commit these settings. Now I'll add my second raw image into the next picture frame. I'll choose this one and just click drag it in, then release the mouse button over the picture frame. Once again, I'll select the Move tool using V on the keyboard. Then I will scale the image up within the picture frame and reposition it. I can also toggle into preview mode, which will hide all the construction elements and give me a clearer idea of how the layout is looking. Another quick way of getting to the raw image layer is to double click on the picture frame with the move tool selected. This will select the immediate child layer of the picture frame, which is the raw image layer. Then I can click develop image to begin editing. For this image, I might increase the brightness slightly, bring the highlights down, but not all the way, then increase the clarity slider. Now onto the third image. I can toggle back to construction mode quickly to check where my picture frames are. That's Control W on Mac, Control Shift W on Windows. Then I'll place my next image. and I'll toggle back to preview mode. For this image, I'll scale it up within the picture frame and reposition it. Then double click to access the raw image layer and develop it. I'll increase brightness and clarity, reduce the highlights, then I'll also move across to the Details panel. And I'm going to add some luminance noise reduction, as this image is particularly noisy. Then I'll click Develop, and it's onto the final image for this page. I'll place it, scale it, and reposition it. Then double click to get to the raw image layer and develop it. For this image, I'll push the exposure and brightness up. Then I might try changing the white balance. I'll reduce the temperature and increase the tint slightly. Finally, something I haven't done to any of the images is apply any sharpening. Rather than do this individually, I could actually Shift-click 
and select these four picture frames. Then group them using Command G on Mac, Control G on Windows. I'll then move across to the Photo Persona and I'll add a live unsharp mask to this group. I'll set the radius to one pixel and the factor to two. And this will sharpen up the images nicely. And this is completely non destructive. So I can change these settings at any time by clicking on the Unsharp Mask thumbnail. I'll go back to the Publisher Persona and I'll move down to the next spread. Here I have a picture frame that spans both pages. I'll drop this image onto the picture frame, then select the Move tool, double click it, and choose Develop Image. Now this image is underexposed, so I will want to bring the brightness up, introduce some contrast, add some clarity, bring the highlights down to recover the clipped areas over here, then add some sharpening by moving across to the Details panel, enabling Detail Refinement, and increasing the radius and the amount sliders. I might also go over to the Tones panel and add a tone curve just to increase the overall contrast slightly. Also, back on the Basic panel, I might adjust the white balance. I can experiment with the white balance tool found on the Tools panel here. Then I'll click over an area of the white fur to sample from an area of that image. You can also click drag to continuously sample. So I'll let go of the mouse button round about here. And if I need to, I can still adjust the white balance manually. Then I'll click develop. Finally, I'll move to this double spread. You don't have to drop a raw image into a picture frame. Here, I'll just click drag and release the mouse button over this spread to place the image unconstrained. Now, if I just delete this image, I'll show you that you can also hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows before letting go of the mouse button. Instead of placing the image at its full scale, we now have the Place Image tool selected. So I can click drag from the top left and draw out the image at a scale of my choosing. I'll scale the image up and reposition it slightly for a tighter crop on the face. I'll just turn on Preview Mode to get rid of the construction elements. Then because we are not using a picture frame, I don't have to double click or expand the picture frame layer to get to the raw image layer. So I already have Develop Image on the context toolbar here. On this image, I'll bring the brightness up, introduce some clarity, then I'll take advantage of the overlay functionality, which allows us to apply adjustments selectively to areas of the image. I'll select the Overlay Paint tool, then click drag and paint over the eyes. With this overlay active, I'll increase the brightness and the contrast to make the eyes more prominent. I'll then select the Overlay Gradient tool and drag in from the right-hand side. On this graduated area of the image, I'll reduce the brightness, increase the black point, increase the contrast, and then reduce the saturation. And with these changes made, I'll develop the image. Affinity Publisher always develops the entire image, even though parts of it may be hidden on the current spread. So I can always select the image layer afterwards and reposition or scale it until I'm happy with the way it looks on the page. And there we go. That was a detailed look at how to place and develop raw images non-destructively in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.